Right, so in the previous tutorial, we have discussed how to uh, add figures to your LaTeX document. And now let's see uh, how to add uh, tables as well. So, yeah, so I will create a new chapter here uh, and name it as tables. Uh, let's compile. Right, we have this chapter, right? So, uh, in order to enter a table to your LaTeX document, uh, all you have to do is use this begin uh, tabular command, right? So, I don't need any options. So, I will use this uh, default uh, tabular thing. Then, uh, you can uh, specify a number of cells. So something like this, so cell 1, uh, cell 2, and cell 3, right? Then you can go to the next row by specifying these two uh, forward slash. And yeah, let's take a look at compiling. All right, uh, so first, uh, whenever you enter the table first you have to declare what are the number of columns that you are going to uh, use right so this is a, a structure that you have to follow so i'm going to use uh, three rows where the cells has been centered from each column right so i will use it as c c and c so c stand for centering and let's compile it again now you can see that we have this uh, default uh, table over here but uh, yeah you can see that uh, it has added this uh, uh, pillars sort of things because we have mentioned it here right so yeah and uh, let's say if if I want to add another row, I will can simply duplicate it like this, and let's compile. So another row has been added, but uh, there is no uh, line that separate these two rows, uh, two rows, right? So in order to do that, you can use this H line tag, and we need three horizontal lines, right? And compile it again. Now you can see that here is our table, right? So likewise, uh, you can have any number of rows, columns inside your table, right? So that's that's how you can uh, easily construct table. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's let's say uh, if I want to maybe merge two uh, row cells how uh, that I can do it so in order to do that you can you have to use a specific package uh, so it is called um, multi row right so multi row package can be used to combine those sort of rows right so let's say I'm going to combine cell 1 in the first row and the cell 1 in the second row. So I can wrap this cell 1 using this multi row command and I have to specify what are the number of rows that I'm going to combine. So I'm going to combine only two rows, right? And I have to specify maybe the maximum length of that uh, combined row as well. So I will maybe let's specify it as 5 em and uh, yeah then this cell one should be enclosed with the curly brackets as well and the following line shouldn't contain any items because these are the two items that is going to combine right so this item should be there and it should be a plain empty like this and let's compile it again and 
here it asks for install a package by this window because uh, we are using a third party package here right the use package multi row is a third party package so you let's simply allow the installation and uh, make sure you have connected to the internet as well otherwise uh, those dependencies won't be uh, correctly pulled but uh, yeah now you can see that uh, that cell is now uh, applied like this but you can see that uh, there is a horizontal line across those two sections so i will simply remove it and compile it again yeah now you can see that these two rows has been uh, combined right so likewise uh, you can try out the multi column package as well so it is uh, maybe a task for you right and uh, try to combine uh, two different uh, columns as well okay right? so it is following the same fashion that i mentioned over here right so that's how you can uh, construct tables and uh, yeah so this uh, table uh, can be figures as well right so maybe in the table of content this table should be visible right so in order to do that we have to enclose these sort of tables within a, um, a labeled tabled uh, wrapper right so here what i can do is i can begin a new table so this is a, a this is a figure that is going to the table of figures as well and um, yeah so um maybe i will use the same table that i used here and paste it over here and let's keep a proper identification as well so it will be more readable right and yeah let's add a caption as well uh, let's say uh, maybe sample table right uh then let's try to compile it and now you can see that our sample table is there but uh, you can see the caption is centered but the table is not centered like right? so you can center the table by specifying it as uh, centering right so i will make it as centering over here then the table will be centered like this right um then uh, yeah let's let's see how we can uh, reference this table inside the specific uh, sentence or paragraph something like that so i will yeah i will use this paragraph and paste it over here and yeah so as in the figures you have to first label your table so i will name this as tab which is stand for table and let's say sample table right so this is just a text that uh, label this specific table right so i will copy this label and now i can reference it as well so in reference again all you have to do is type ref and select this sample reference sample table and compile it again now you can see that uh, it has been added but uh, it's just two question mark which means you have to compile it twice right now you can see that it is there right um but uh, let's let's add uh, some sort of space as well uh, let's say v space maybe 5 cm uh yeah the 5 cm is quite large right so let's add uh, 0 0.75 centimeters maybe 
so then we have some sort of space between this table and this text right otherwise everything seems to be a bit uh, unclear uh, and uh, yeah and this table is now kind of offset with this text so you can specify it as h so it will be uh, in this the very end of this text right so it will be much more convenient uh, right uh, so yeah and uh, instead of having a plain reference like this let's enclose it with the table and brackets and build it again right now it's more uh, readable right and yeah so table 5.1 is there and uh, now we have a lot of tables and figures so let's add the table of figures uh, list as well um, so yeah in order to do that uh, all you have to do is go to the up and uh, yeah where we have this abstract uh, yeah here we have the abstract and we have the table of content and we can add the list of tables as well right so I will come to this as list of tables so just add the command list of tables right now we have the list of tables just build it twice yeah we have the list of tables and i think i forgot to apply this uh, list of figure table here yeah so it should be added in the previous video but uh, yeah somehow i forgot to do that so yes i will simply add list of figures here as well uh, so let's say list of figures and let's compile it twice and now we have the content list of figures the list of table right uh, so here is our figures and here is our table so that's how you can uh, add tables to your document <clears throat> but again there are so many configurations and stylings uh, related to these tables and uh, other stuffs so just discover it for other features uh, but uh, these are the basic knowledge that you need to construct uh, tables by using LEDEC and uh, yeah we'll see you in the next video